Welcome to Derby. Sorry, I'm a little late getting on the mic here. Just getting started, getting everything in set up. We're on Jan number two. We got Minnesota Roller Derby B team. Fanny Smack has lead jammer status currently. The Denver standbys. Jammer is out. Fanny Smack makes it through one more time, calls off the jam. That takes the score. Minnesota Roller Derby B team, 12 to the Denver standbys at zero. Wheelie Nelson gets lead jammer status for the Minnesota Roller Derby. And blows through the pack for four more points. Gremlin makes it out of the pack for Denver, and Wheelie Nelson calls it off. We have a timeout call. Boo Boo gets lead jammer status for Minnesota Roller Derby. Speed Cat running up against some tough defense. Boo Boo gets four points and calls off the jam. If you are enjoying your ice cream from the food truck outside, that's awesome, but also be careful. Ice cream on the ground and wheels do not mix. Be careful with your ice cream.
We've got T-Rex on the line for Minnesota Roller Derby and Bash Tag on the line for Denver. T-Rex makes it out. And so does Bash Tag. T-Rex scores three points on that jam with the help of her defenders. Left the for dead on the line against Smack Overflow. Smack Overflow gets lead jammer status for Denver. Smack Overflow tries to get some points before calling it off, feeling left for dead on their tail. We've got Fanny Smack versus Gremlin again. Fanny makes it out for lead jammer status. Raichu headed to the box for a back block at the end of that jam. Fanny Smack able to pick up two more points for Minnesota Roller Derby. Wheelie Nelson on the line versus Bash Tag. Wheelie Nelson gets lead jammer status for Minnesota Roller Derby. Malls to the wall trying to break up Denver's two person wall. Denver clears a path for Bash Tag while Wheelie Nelson heads to the box. Shadow knocks Bash Tag out to the outside. Bash tag does make it through for four points. Wheelie Nelson rejoining after her penalty. Cheese Louise drawing Bash tag back. Wheelie makes it through for four points. Tries to ride that inside line, doesn't quite make it. Bash tag running into some hard Minnesota Roller Derby defense. And that's the end of the jam. 
Wheelie scoring eight points that jam, and Bashtag also scoring eight points that jam, bringing our to oh, 12, sorry, 12 points that jam, bringing the total 45 points for Minnesota Roller Derby and 12 points for Denver. Boo Boo on the line versus Smack Overflow. Both teams putting up some nice defense here. Smack Overflow getting lead jammer status. Oh. Looked like Boo Boo was out, but a cut call. And Boo Boo heads to the box. Nice hops by Smack Overflow. Smack Overflow calls it off, but not before. Scoring three more points. And keeping Minnesota to zero on that jam. Bringing our score for, to 45, Minnesota, 27, Denver. T-Rex makes it through. Gremlin hot on her tail. Scores. No points. It looks like the officials are sorting something out. It appears that Gremlin got a penalty at the end of that jam and will start this one in the box. Lefsa for dead on the line. Left for dead, monopolizes on that jammer penalty and gets lead jammer status. Gremlin sent back to the penalty box, but has two penalties. This will be a tricky jammer exchange. Nicely handled by our box staff over here. What that effectively does is takes one of Gremlin's uh, penalties right off We have a star pass by Denver.
but it looks like that star pass did not happen before the penalty on Gremlin. So Gremlin will once again start in the box. And Minnesota will start on a power jam. The officials are going to take a little bit of a timeout while they sort out what is happening here. That official timeout is kind of handy. Let's Denver also get back up to full strength for their blockers. Let's take a moment to thank our officials. Our officials uh, for this game are Johnny Demomic, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boom, Carmen Dragon, Panic at the Lolo, Jakob the Swedish Web, Kyle Kyle Crocodile, Freddie Mercury Poisoning, and Rivendahl. Our NSOs is Doesn't Matter, uh, Mother Flippin' Artist, Mistress of Evil, Mortal Comcat, Sawyer Antics, uh, Luscious, Sadie Masochist, Quick Grayson, Riot Earp, uh, Weeplash, I think, like Whiplash, but Weeplash, uh, and Stompador. Uh, extra large helmets don't belong on small on small sized heads. The uh, certified sweat saver, saver better fit, safer fit. Uh, revolutionary, revolutionizing roller derby safety with cutting edge technology and unrivaled design. Stay protected with Triple Eight, the certified sweat saver from Triple Eight, top of the line safety standards and unmatched fit options. Leading the pack with cutting edge technology, certifications, and the best fit options for Derby. We have Fanny Smack on the line, starting with a power jam after that official timeout. Gremlin in the box for Denver. If you're watching at home, Minnesota Roller Derby's in white and Denver is in blue. Fanny Smack able to capitalize on the chaos there as Gremlin re-entered and go around the outside for four points. Denver able to do a star pass there, and Bronny Darko is the new jammer for Denver. Fanny Smack being drawn back. Fanny Speck for, scores eight points on that jam, bringing our score to 61 points for Minnesota Roller Derby and 27 points for Denver. We have Boo Boo on the line for Minnesota Roller Derby and Speed Cat on the line for Denver.
Denver gets four points on that jam and calls it off before Minnesota Roller Derby can score. We have T-Rex on the line against Bash Tag. T-Rex gets lead jammer status. Cheese Louise knocks Bash Tag out before they can, before she can get back to the line. Draws a cut call on that one. T-Rex taking advantage of the power jam, scoring some points here. We have an official review for Denver. My guess is going to be that it was on the jammer cut call as when I saw the jammer heading off the track, there was some shaking of the head in disagreement with the call. So there'll probably be a review of that. One eight seven killer pads, often imitated, never duplicated. Stick with the best. One eight seven killer pads worn by most pros in the world. If you skate, you know why. Industrial strength materials, unmatched ergonomic design, unparalleled excellence. See if I can figure out what happened with that. Okay, yep, it's exactly what I thought it was. Uh, Denver wanted the cut call removed on their jammer, and they did win that review, so they retain their official review. Lefsa for dead gets lead jammer sm status. Smack overflow on the line for Denver. Also back in the pack. Both teams have players headed to the box. A second Denver player headed to the box. 
Left set for dead, capitalizing on the uneven numbers on the track. Nice scoot along the inside there for Lefsa. Shadow. Knocks smack overflow out, but then gets knocked out herself. Left for dead, scoring four more points, taking her point total up to 20. Smack overflow up to 12. Lots of points scored on that jam. 23 points for Minnesota Roller Derby. 15 points for Denver, taking the score to 92 Minnesota Roller Derby, 46 Denver. Oh, we have an official review. Coach Irma calling an official review for Minnesota Roller Derby. We'll see what this one's about in just a few minutes. If you haven't had time to check it out, we have some lovely tattoo artists down at the other end of the arena. If you want to sign up, pay, and get a tattoo today. Okay. Minnesota Roller Derby was looking for a cut call on the Denver Jammer for cutting two of their own teammates. There was not enough evidence to make that call. So Minnesota Roller Derby does not retain their official review. Fanny Smack on the line for Minnesota Roller Derby gets out and gets lead jammer status. Keeper of the skate jamming for Denver stuck in the pack behind some tough defense Speed Rita headed to the box fun fact about Speed Rita she says she doesn't actually read very fast Fanny taking advantage by hopping around the outside. Scores four more points. Anaconda knocks Bronnie Darko to the outside.
our score with just about six minutes left in this period, in the first period of this game, is Minnesota Roller Derby at 1-0-4, 104 points. And Denver standbys at 50 points. So Minnesota Roller Derby just crossed that century mark. Bash tag makes it out for lead jammer status. Turns around to face Wheelie Nelson. They go up against each other. Wheelie falls, but then recovers. Bash tag calls off the jam before either jammer could score points. Speed Cat on the line for Denver and Boo Boo on the line for Minnesota Roller Derby. <laughs> Boo Boo pushing her way to the front for lead jammer status. Gets past K Pasa. Speed Cat running into some tough Minnesota Roller Derby defense and then headed to the box in a penalty. Minnesota Roller Derby defenders and seeing if they can help Boo Boo get out of the pack. Anaconda Malls and Speed Rita making a really tough wall up there. Speed Cat does fake them out though and get around the inside. Minnesota Roller Derby telling Boo Boo to keep going. Already eight points up on the board. And Boo Boo gets four more points in before the end of that jam. Speed Cat scored seven on that. We have a timeout for our Denver. Or an official review, I apologize. We have an official review for Denver. But they're using it as a timeout. T-Rex on the line for Minnesota Roller Derby, Derby and Smack Overflow jamming for Denver. Yeah. 
Laurel Mighty headed to the box for a multiplayer from Minnesota Roller Derby. Smack Overflow does get lead jammer status for Denver and then calls it off, keeping T-Rex and Minnesota Roller Derby at zero points in that jam. Left side for dead. And smack overflow. Denver holds Minnesota to zero points again and gets three of their own, taking our score to 116 for Minnesota Roller Derby and 64 for Denver. <laughs> Fanny Smack up against Last Warfare. Shadow knocks Last Warfare to the outside. Buck Hustle removed themselves for injury. Hopefully Buck is okay.
nothing like that whatsoever. <laughs> like, oh, I got it. Like wild calling the game. Welcome back from intermission. We're going to start this half off with Minnesota Roller Derby at 116 and Denver standbys at 64. Well, let's see if this microphone works. Kinda. Thanks, Brian. I'm, I'm Allie Gorey, and I'm joined this half by Reverend Killjoy. So Hello! I'm no longer announcing by myself. That's pretty exciting. Willie Nelson tries for the apex jump there, but gets knocked down. She does have lead jammer status, though. Uh. Bashtag did a star stash. So Wheelie trying to decide what to do. And Wheelie does get through for four points for Minnesota. While this becomes a power jam. Bash tag is the listed jammer for Denver currently in the box and Wheelie gets another four on that second pass. Inside, outside, upside, down from Wheelie for another four and this is a very lucrative jam for Minnesota. And now we have a back block on Wheelie so the power jam switches around as Denver blocker looks like it says something like class warfare comes in along with the jammer who slides through with the star stashed and does get three points for that pass from the previous time through. So two more points, no, three more points for Denver and three more for Minnesota on those final passes. 135 to 70, your listed score. Wheelie Nelson in the box to start this jam. So Smack Overflow starts on a power jam and gets lead jammer status, taking advantage of that power jam. Wheelie Nelson comes flying in on that re-entry. Smack Overflow heads to the box. It looked like a low block was called on that. Willie Nelson, some nice moves to the outside, scoring four more points. Wheelie held up by that solid purple wall up front, and now Smack Overflow hits into a similar white wall in the back of the pack, both jammers trying to make offense happen all on their own. Smack does a good job moving to the front and forcing Minnesota to reform up front. And does finally get free for four points. Well, Wheelie goes down and gets tumbled over. Looks like everybody's okay, I think. But the chaos of that allows Smack Overflow to get through to the front of the pack again, and a no-pack call results in four more points for Denver. Raichu gets to go to the box for that pack destruction. <laughs> oh, and now Smack Overflow headed to the box for a cut. We'll see if Minnesota can monopolize on this power jam. Not enough time is the answer.
looks like each jammer scored eight points on that jam. We're just double checking that. Bringing our score uh, to 143 Minnesota Roller Derby and 78 Denver. There weren't this many jammer penalties in the first half, were there? Because it's were. been a lot. There were. There were. Oh. A, a, a lot. I mean, not a lot. I don't want to sound judgmental. There no. were some. I just, I would think that the coaching staffs would have to get a little creative at some point. It's possible. I have not, I don't see the uh, penalty count over here, but my guess is yes. At some point, they will have to be creative. We have an official timeout while the officials sort something out. And we're back. Well, since I'm just starting for the second half, I should say how much I like and appreciate the officials, and I'm glad they're here. I know it gets to be a long weekend for officials. It does, but they keep, uh, they keep the gameplay safe and fair and are, like, one of the most important integral parts of roller derby. So Absolutely. some official love. Boo Boo gets lead jammer status. Uh, taking advantage of that power jam start. And the box is clear. We'll see how long that lasts. Looks like Smack and Cast Warfare back on the track for Denver. Smack being the jammer who stashed the star and now is through starting a scoring pass. Boo Boo scores four more points before calling it off. I just realized I haven't done this for months. I know. It's been so long. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Yeah. And it's good all to right. see all of these wonderful people. Absolutely. Yeah. I did watch one derby game this summer. Bought this awesome shirt there. I love it. Yeah. South Shore Roller Derby in Northwest Indiana. Nice job, T-Rex, for lead jammer status. Excellent job there, forcing Speed Cat to recycle all the way to the back just when it looked like the jammer was free. Uh, Speed Cat did jam in the first um, period of this game, and the name is Apt. I believe you. You will see some speed. T Rex gets through and immediately calls off the jam before Speed Cat can use that speed for scoring purposes. Minnesota is one point short of doubling up Denver's score right now. You do love math. I love math. I was just in the car with some elementary, no, middle school kids who also love math, so that was really fun. Lucifer Dad gets out for lead jammer status. Bash tag. Struggling with Minnesota's defense. But does a star pass to see if the pivot will have any more luck getting out. Okay. That is Bronny Darko, the new jammer for Denver. Lefsa did a great job that last pass, just sliding through the outside, barely got touched, and was able to then call off the jam before Denver's able to score. I'll just jinx it right away and say penalty box is currently empty. Ooh. Let's see if what effect that has on this jam. We have Fanny Snack <laughs> up against Gremlin. Aww. Once again, Minnesota Roller Derby in white and Denver in 
Is it blue or purple? I'm going to call it purple. The officials are calling it blue. It's dark. It's a dark color that is bluish purple. It's honestly kind of a dark indigo Indigo. I love that as a color. But ain't no official going to say indigo. That ain't happening. That, That takes too many syllables. Absolutely. It would inhibit the safety of the skaters. Meanwhile, Fanny's getting four points while we play Crayola over here. <laughs> it's a great wall of uh, a triangle of Denver skaters right there, and we've got a Denver blocker headed to the penalty box. With a multiplayer c- penalty. Ooh. Fanny with a good outside move, making a blocker miss for four more Minnesota points. Roland Riz tries some offense there to see if Fanny can monopolize on it. Roland Riz does earn a trip to the penalty box, though, for pack destruction. We are sponsored today by Triple Eight Helmets. Extra large helmets do not belong on small size heads. The certified sweat saver, better fit, safer fit. Triple Eight Helmets. Top of the line safety standards, unmatched fit options. Thank you, Triple Eight Helmets, for being here with us today. We are sponsored also today by 187 Killer Pads. Often imitated, never duplicated, stick with the best. I always wanted my own 187 killer pads. I have a set. I bet you do, but I don't have any because I don't skate enough. Yeah. Or my plan is to, when I skate, when I, skate I don't fall down. Oh, that's so a dangerous plan. It's a, well, I'm not, I just, uh, it's real different skating conditions that I'm engaging in. You know what I mean? I ain't out here doing this. Oh. We've got Boo Boo on the line against Speed Cat. Speed Cat is out first and does get lead jammer status. And then calls it off. Speed Cat keeps Minnesota to zero points on that jam. Denver gets four. Okay. Have we mentioned that we have tattoo artists here yet? I haven't. Well, I don't know. What? Tell me about that. Yeah. So down at the other end of the arena, we have uh, two tattoo artists here from Peregrine Tattoos that um, are doing a little bit of flash tattooing today for us. So if you're interested in getting a tattoo today, go check in down there, see if you can get on the list, and get yourself a tattoo. Bash tag for Denver is your lead jammer in this one. As Minnesota now has two blockers in the penalty box. Wow, Bash tag really living up to that name right there. Just absolutely bowling over Shadow. All good. Yep. Looks like everybody's okay. That was a four to one scoring jam in favor of Denver. And now a track cut on Smack Overflow makes this a power jam for T-Rex jamming for Minnesota, who does get lead.
Minnesota looking for some reinforcements. Blockers from the penalty box as well. T-Rex does sneak inside for four points as the pack reforms. Smack overflow is back. Gets through on the star stash. So on a scoring pass and T-Rex calls off the jam from the track. Three more points on that pass for Minnesota. Left suffered on the line for Minnesota Roller Derby and bash tag on the line again for Denver. Left for dead, makes it out and gets lead jammer status. Four points for Lefsa and Minnesota. We have a star pass. Bronnie Darko is now the jammer for Denver Roller Derby. Lefsa calls off the jam after four more points. One point scored for Denver on that final pass. We have a timeout for Minnesota. Our current score is Minnesota Roller Derby at 203 points to Denver's 87. Ooh, more fun math facts. Ooh. I, ha I admit, I have to tell you, I did have to kind of look this up to be sure. Okay. But 87, of course, is 29 times 3. Sure. But 203 is 29 times 7. Both numbers divisible by 29. Fun with math and rev. That means that Minnesota is outscoring Denver currently by a 7 to 3 ratio. A ratio made up, in this case, of 29s. Fanny Smack forced out and forced out again. It's a no penalty, no pass situation on that last one. She still gets lead jammer status, though. She earned it before getting knocked out that last time. Indeed. And that's got to be speed cap because the speed is evident. 4-1, no, 4-3 to three jam. The, the apex jump at the end garners four, three points for Denver. Excellent work there. I love a good apex jump. They're so fun. I also am afraid of them because I've seen them end badly. Yeah. I've seen apex jumps so good that skaters immediately vowed to retire because they knew they could never compete. 
when the apex jumps were made by junior skaters who were like 14. I was announcing with, a, with an injured skater, and she saw it happening. She said, I'm never skating again. I quit. The kids are too good. Ouch. Wheelie Nelson gets lead jammer status for Minnesota Roller Derby. Looks like we've got a star stash situation going on for Denver. Indeed. Gremlin holding that in, her, in their hand. Wheelie forced out by a couple of strong Denver blockers. We do have a track cut being called, and that is on... Gremlin, the jammer. Indeed. Sometimes it's a little confusing because if the jammer is not wearing the star, but they go to the, the penalty box, you don't always immediately know right. that that's the jammer that's sitting there. Right, but we are professionals, so we knew right away. Yeah, what I think professional <laughs> might be a stretch. A little bit of a stretch. It's fine. Who's going to argue? We're the ones with microphones. We're, we are volunteers who work hard. <laughs> well, maybe you work hard. I'm clearly half-assing it right now. <laughs> Wheelie finally makes it through for four hard-earned points for Minnesota. Woof. Star pass for Denver. Bronny Darko, now the jammer. Denver comes up to see if they can get Bronny out of the pack. Looks like Cass Warfare has fouled out for Denver, if I'm reading the tea leaves correctly. It's a possibility. Denver coach coming out to the center. We'll see if anything comes about this. And calls a timeout. That's a good idea. It's good, oh, it's good to calm everybody down. Yeah, everybody, everybody knows what's going on. Yeah. Collect yourself physically and emotionally. Maybe strategize a bit. Or just breathe. I mean, just breathing's good, too. For sure. <laughs> Underrated, for sure. <laughs> So this is the 4 p.m. bout. We have two more roller derby bouts to go this evening we do, in this indeed. Have a Nice Day tournament. Following this, we've got Grand Raggedy against Connecticut. Grand Raggedy, of course, out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. I was a longtime announcer for Kalamazoo, Michigan, which is just down the road. So I've announced Grand Raggedy more times than I can count on my fingers and toes. Excellent. Both at home and way about. So I'm looking forward to that. And then our big headliner tonight, these two leagues will be back with their A-teams, Minnesota Roller Derby against Denver. Oh, against Denver B-team, my bad. Smack overflow, jamming for Denver, gets called on a cut and heads to the box. That gives Boo Boo a power jam to see what she can do with it. Boo Boo gets lead jammer status. Lots of shouting from the bench staff happening for both teams. Sometimes that can be confusing. You're hearing one team and not sure if it's for you or for somebody else. Mac Overflow and Sweaty Malls back. Boo Boo gets through for four points. Four more points for Minnesota Roller Derby. And 
And Boo Boo's through again for four more points. Smack Overflow really struggling with that wall of Malls, Speed Rita, and Cheese Louise. Boo Boo attempted a heroic apex jump and didn't quite land it and decides to call this one off. Fair enough. Boo Boo earns a high five from a teammate on the way into the box for her pains. We have an official timeout. The officials are over talking to Minnesota Roller Derby. It looks like there's a late call on Boo Boo. So Boo Boo will continue to be the jammer and report to the box. Denver will get to start on a power jam. It looked like it was a cut call that came in late. Oh. So Denver gets to start on a power jam. Unfortunate turn of events for Minnesota, but we're glad the officials got that sorted out. Yep. And we're ready to skate again with eight minutes and nine seconds left on the clock in this second half. We got Bashtag on the line for Denver. running into that strong defense by Minnesota Roller Derby. Scoots around Shadow. And gets lead jammer status. Boo Boo was able to come in, take a ride on Anaconda's back, kind of, figuratively speaking, yeah. and get it through the, the inside. Yeah, it was good offense to just slide through right on Anaconda's back. You were right. Yep. Boo Boo getting an explanation probably of the previous penalty. Boo Boo oh. making like the, oh, I understand now face. Oh, so okay. I think yeah. now it's, gets it. Yeah, it's hard to get that explanation from the officials when you're already on your own bench. So uh, glad everybody's got that squared away. T-Rex, very excited about lead jammer status there. Keeper passes the star to Gremlin for Denver and is out. Uh, nope. T-Rex calls it off. Two points scored by Minnesota, no points scored by Denver. Okay. Left for dead on the line versus Smack Overflow for Denver. Smack runs up that inside line, gets lead jammer status. Smack does call off the jam with three points to, for Denver to zero for Minnesota. The hands on hips gesture to call off the jam, sometimes getting lost in the pack 
And so the referee and the, the jammer were communicating about that afterwards. Uh, everything yes. worked out just fine. Yeah, sometimes you see the jammers bring up their hands extra high to communicate that they are tapping the hips. Right. This leads the audience to sometimes believe that jammers have to tap their, their hips and their head. <laughs> yeah. Which is not true. Not, not true. And honestly, it's hard to tap your head, too, when you're surrounded by people in the pack because your balance is going to get weird and you're throwing elbows around. And it, yep. Yeah. Fanny Smack takes advantage there, gets lead jammer status. But, oh, yep, and scores four points. Wheelie Nelson gets lead jammer status on this one. Speed Cat, also out of the pack. Yeah, I see what you mean about Speed Cat. Oh, beautiful apex jump. Flying jammers. It looks like Wheelie didn't get any points on that one, must have not landed in bounds, which does happen when you try that apex jump into right calling it off. If you didn't land in bounds, you don't get any points. Yep. Denver calls a timeout. This is their last timeout. Three minutes and 15 seconds left on the period clock. There's a little clock. confusion, actually. They say that they don't have a timeout. So they're using their official review as a timeout. Ah, there we go. There we are, yes. Yeah. And this is a time for everybody to stretch a little. If you've been sitting too much, do some stretches. See what you can do. If you've been standing on this terrible concrete floor, yeah. do some dances. Yeah. Loosen up. Love it, Irma. Love the enthusiasm. All right. It is warm here in the Charles M. Schultz Highland Arena. Smack Overflow gets lead jammer status. T-Rex is also out from Minnesota Roller Derby. Smack Overflow runs into her own person. It looks like Bronnie Darko, and Bronnie Darko is going to chill for a second. Officials checking in with Bronnie Darko to see if there is an injury. Looks like everything's okay. We're very happy for that. I think this is technically an official's timeout, but I'm not entirely sure. Okay, and it looks like we're back. All right. Two and a half minutes left in this period. Score is currently 
235 points for Minnesota, 97 for Denver. Gremlin, the jammer for Denver, Left the for dead, the jammer for Minnesota. So yeah, Gremlin is the lead jammer, but was forced to recycle back into the pack as soon as lead was established. Almost made it through that time, and now we do have uh, Lefsa for dead, free from the pack, not lead. Gremlin gonna call this one off at the behest of bench coaching. We've got time for at least one more jam. Fanny Smack, lead jammer. Fanny takes a smack right back on her skates, trying to break through that triangle up front of Indigo Denver jerseys, and does so, forcing a no-pack call and getting four points for Minnesota. Bash tag hands off the star for Denver to Serial Killer, which is an excellent name and a reference to Hackers. Ah, that's great. Yeah, what a, what a classic, classic film for people of our generation. <laughs> Fanny finds an inside line and gets through untouched on that last effort of that second pass. The period clock has expired, so this is just as long as this jam goes. Fanny can end this bout at any time. Uh, almost does so. Ooh. Irma and the bench staff tell her to keep going. Keep going. Serial Killer makes it out on the first pass. And Fanny calls it off. And there we go, folks. An unofficial score of 247 for Minnesota's Roller Derby B team to 97 for Denver's standbys.